Now I got a ride or die. Hello guys. Today we are going to be servicing my Mercedes-Benz 1824 truck. We are going to be changing quite a few things. This is an air dryer, which separates water from the air system. It is located right here on the driver's side. Also, we will be changing the air filter. It is located on the passenger side under the truck cabin right here. And it's secure with a 17mm nut from underneath. The fuel filters are located on the engine top under the truck cabin. And the oil filters are located on the left engine side right behind the driver's side front wheel. Let's start. So firstly, we are going to need to remove the old oil from the engine by unbolting the bolt on the bottom of the oil pan. That bolt was stuck so bad that we broke the M14 hexagon bit. We managed to unbolt that bolt after heating it a little bit. To make the oil spill out faster, remove the oil filler cap in the front of the cabin. While the oil is spilling out of the oil pan, we can remove and replace the oil filters. To get to the oil filters, we will have to lift the cabin up. To do that, there's a special hydraulic pump on the passenger side behind the cabin. You have to turn the small into the side that shows arrow up and insert some kind of a lever in the hole higher and pump it up. But before lifting the cabin up, we will have to unlock it. So there are two locks behind each seat in the cabin. In these two clips I am showing you how to lock them, I didn't film how to unlock them, but it's just vice versa. So, we need to unbolt the bolts that hold the filter in place. After that, just wiggle the oil filter out of there. This is oil filter holder. Let's put it aside for now. Now, let's remove the filter itself. Be careful, some oil might spill out. Remove the second filter the same way as the first one. Oil holder cap has two rubber seals that have to be replaced every oil filter change. New seals come with the new filters. So just remove the old ones and put the new ones on the cap. When that's done, it's time to put the new filters in. Just push it down. Once the filter is in place, take the bolt that holds the oil cap, remove the old copper washer from it and put on the new one. And then, just bolt it on. After all the oil is out and the oil filters are changed, fill up the engine with oil through the oil filler cap. 
To change the fuel filters the easiest way is to remove these two bolts that hold the fuel in and out hoses from here. Then, remove these bolts and take out the whole fuel filter assembly, which will make your job a lot easier. Since I didn't do it that way, I had a lot harder task. These two bolts, hold the caps that cover the filters, so remove them in order to get to the filters. When the bolts are out, wiggle the caps from bottom and they will pop right out. When you got them out, replace the filters. And then, you will have to replace the rubber seals that were left on the assembly. I spilled a lot of fuel, just because I didn't remove the assembly out. Push the new seal in all the way into the groove. What's left is to put the cap with the new filter back on and bolt it down. Let's replace the air filter now. It's pretty straightforward, just unbolt and remove the old one and put the new one. And the last thing that we are changing is the air dryer. We had to use a filter remove tool to remove the air dryer. We can't remove it, so we will have to remove the box next to it, just to get it out and put the new one in. We did that off camera. That's it for this video. I really hope it will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.